Hey guys, my name is Epidemical, and today I'm gonna teach you, or maybe not if you're a slow learner, the basics of Sony Vegas Pro 8 or Movie Studio. Movie Studio, Platinum, etc., etc. Um, has some features of Sony Vegas. So, Sony Vegas is an advanced video editor created by Sony course and you can do a lot you can create HD videos you can use keyframes to create um, animated effects really nice effects you can so well Sony Vegas has a lot of stuff so I encourage you to get Sony Vegas Pro 8 don't get movie studio or movie studio platinum or any of it's consumers get pro because would you rather be a professional or an amateur that's your choice hi right, so Sony so here's um, Sony Vegas so in Sony Vegas probably when you start out it's gonna come out like this and so you may be asking hmm Sony Vegas has two kinds of of tracks and that's the video layer that's the audio layer you may be asking how could I add those hmm all you have to do is right click on the timeline and insert what you want like I'm gonna insert two video tracks and two audio tracks and to delete them just have to click on right click on the timeline and click delete and to organize your workspace, um, see this white bar right here? You right click on it and you press on F2 or rename. You can name that track. That's how you can organize your workspace. So, so we can name it track 1. And let's say like you, you want to like bookmark a certain, certain place. We go. So all you have to do is drag um, your timeline line on place where you want it, and click on M. And this little marker tool comes up. Now you have to name it. So I'm just gonna name it marker. And that's how you can organize your workspace in Sony Vegas. In Sony Vegas Pro, you can have up to 99 tracks, I believe, or as much as we want. I don't really know, but pretty sure it's only 99 but in the consumer version such as movie studio or movie studio platinum can only have up to four layers and that includes audio layers which is kind of sad which is why I encourage you to get pro and so I'm going to teach you the basics so like let's say you want to cut out this part in the video so first play your video Let's say I want to cut out the bar in the marker. All I have to do is... All I have to do is click on create subclip. Oh, oops, oh, never mind. Ignore that. Ignore that. So all you have to do is... Like, if you want to, like, um, separate, um, your video into video clips or separate part, all I have to do is click on S. S on... on S in snail. And as you can see, created two separate ones. And let's say you want to take out the audio from a video. So all you have to do is right click or the group and click on new or remove from. Now make sure it's unhighlighted. So you can see um, it's now on group. But let's say you want to group, group it back. So all you have to do is click on, on the video or another video. And once you click on the whole shift and now select the ones you need or the one you need and right click on it while still holding shift and um, click on create new or G and that is how to create one and let's say you want to eliminate black bars all you have to do is um go to pan event pan and crop you can go to this by clicking this thing right here or right clicking on your video layer and clicking video event pen slash crop which is right here 
right here. Okay, so that's how you do your stuff. And let's say you want to import clips. So all you have to do is go to File, Import, and choose what, what type of thing you want to import. Such as media and just wait for it to load and now choose your stuff or whatever to import or you can do you fit the easy way which is explore and you have all these tabs on your on your menu and if you're missing some all you have to do is go to just go to view and you can click which ones you want like I have the toolbar the status bar I have uh, Explorer, Trimmer, Mixer, Video Preview, Project Media, and blah blah blah. All the things are checked I have right here. So you can select them and whatsoever. And on the file menu, um, you can also select your, your project properties. Like let's say you want it to be HD, so that you select the preset, or you can, or you can create one. Like let's try 100 by 100. And and just name it what you want. Just gonna name this one preset and save it. And as you can see, how it's saved. And to delete a preset, you just have to click on this X right here. And you go to File, um, Publish to save your video. Um, it's not called saving in Sony Vegas. The correct way to say uh, save your videos is called rendering. And with rendering. Just wait for it to load. You can choose um, what format you want your video to be saved in, such, such as such as WNV, MP4. Just wait for it to load. Don't worry. Um, it's taking for me, it's taking a pretty decent time since. Oh, okay. And you can choose your your format which you want your video to be saved in and go a custom again you can create your own preset whatsoever and you go to uh, and edit you can you can basically do this with the mouse in so your edit history display which is s or and insert you can insert as an audio track or video track and that's it so and with tools you can insert all these fancy things like audio video a uh, multi-camera which is um multi-camera editing which you have many video tracks with many different um videos in it and you want to edit all and you have to click on that one and for you playstation portable for uh export to psp and there's a burn disc and you can burn it into a Blu-ray disc, a video CD, multi-media CD, and whatsoever, but not DVD sadly. Maybe you can, hmm. or can click on. Um, where is it? Hmm. And with this, these are just buttons like shows your music ID. It's pretty self-explanatory. CD info, and you can also get me your media from your web. And your views, I don't know what that is, but. And with this. This I won't I really wouldn't mess with, so be careful with that. And Explorer is this basically like importing stuff and trimmer. That's where you, you can drag a clip here and trim it all you want, and then export it. I mean, import it to the uh, to the track line, to the timeline. The project media that, that's like basically all the stuff you have used in your timeline. Like in case you, you lost one, you can find it right here. The media manager, um, I think is to like, it's basically like managing your your stuff. Like it's like multi-camera editing, but except um with media. And this um these are your transitions, and as you can see, there are many many transitions. And with video effects, these are all video effects you have in Sony Vegas. And for each one, you have like all these different presets. And then again, you can create your own custom preset. With media generator, um, you can create, you can add text with media generators. 
or um, you could add color, you could add credits, you could add checkerboard, color gradients, and that's pretty much the basics of Sony Vegas Pro 8. And with this, you can adjust your volume more. You can just go to your audio track and and put it up and put it to the to left or right. And with keyframing in Sony Vegas, which is hold on, I'm running out of time, which is which is um this thing diamond right here, you can create animations and that's pretty much the basics of Sony Vegas Pro 8. This has been an epidemic tutorial or epidemic or whatever you call it. And if you ha guys have any questions or comments, leave, leave one please and I'll try to help you. And peace.